what's up guys how you doing the coaches here and today i decided to bring you a video that i think might bring you guys some insight on where you are and jim i literally get this question all the time i decided you know what maybe i'll make a video on it because literally every time i go to the gym i get asked this and it's gonna be what's your bodybuilding power level and uh yeah it is based off of dragon ball z kind of so if you've seen that you pretty much know what to expect from me here and uh the audio is crappy i'm sorry i have a blue yeti don't know why it's not working tonight but i decided i think it's time to get this video out because i just want to put something out so you guys could have you know a better gauge on where you're at in terms of your fitness so um, i went ahead and made this scale right here and first thing you're gonna notice right off the bat there's gonna be a couple of different colors uh, a blue a green a gray yellow orange and red and as we go down the line explain every level you'll get a better insight on which uh where you're at um for lack of a better term also let me go ahead and say this right now this is for bodybuilding and not powerlifting not strong men so whatever you see on here doesn't apply to any of that and also i'll start also say that every single person will not go on the scale at the same rate everybody's different you know people are different approaches to things so everyone's gonna of course start off on level one but some people might get to level six quicker than somebody get to level nine and things like that you know so we're gonna go ahead and start and of course the first level is gonna be level number one your power level is one you're a gym noob everybody starts here it doesn't matter who you are now a couple of notes for each level this person generally is going to be their first time in the gym or they might be returning to the gym but they never were serious to begin with um usually these people they they don't have any knowledge or plans on what to do uh you can tell when they come to the gym too get some let's go black man spot they just kind of walk around on random things and they're generally pretty overweight or underweight um and that's either from a bad diet they overeat or they undereat, um or they eat very poorly um there's not much more to say about the person at this level. You've all seen those people in the gym. You know who they are. Um, what I will say is applaud them for being in the gym, for at least getting there, because that's the hardest part. A lot of people, it, it's easy to put it off. So for them to be in there, says enough right there. Um, level two, your power level is two, you're, you're a beginner. Um, you've probably been going to the gym for you know a couple of times maybe once a week twice a week but you're on a very inconsistent schedule you, you don't have a plan on when you're gonna go you just show up whenever um you might have a goal in mind but eh, yeah you know what i'm saying you might have a goal in mind <laughs> um another habit of the beginner is a habit of just jumping on random equipment and those are those people that they go in they might do some bicep curls and then five minutes later you'll see them doing leg press and then after that you'll see them doing abs you, that, that that's pretty much what the beginner is they just do stuff you know they make more of an effort than the gym do but they're still beginners still don't really have an idea of what they're doing um so those two people are gonna fall into the uh blue category now power level three you're, you're the gym casual um now at, at this rate you figure out a decent schedule so you might do like a monday wednesday friday or you might do you know wednesday thursday friday you pretty much figured out a decent schedule that works for you and you're being a little bit more consistent um at this level though what a term that if you've been in the bodybuilding community for a while you start seeing your new beginnings um 
and that's when you first start it doesn't matter what your goals are who you are you, you're gonna start putting on muscle fast you're gonna cut weight fast because you, you you haven't been active in your life so anything you do is gonna happen quick it doesn't matter who you are you're gonna get newbie games when you start um you're also at this level pretty likely to get into classes fad diets etc those things while some of them work some are whatever they at least give you some kind of structure to pretty much get yourself into the routine of getting more serious so while i'm not the biggest fan of them i do think that they have some application um and at this level most people begin to get what's called the workout high where you start feeling good about yourself because of the games you start being on schedule you start to maybe enjoy the gym a little bit and then that's where you transition over to a uh, power level four level the intermediate and um almost always at this level this is where people start to figure out their workout split which is like the ppl which is push pull legs um upper body lower body and etc which would be like a arm day which would be biceps triceps or you'll do legs and abs or something so you pretty much find out a workout routine that works for you um at this point you may consider supplements you might not but you you've thought about them and it, it wouldn't be any kind of crazy supplements it'd be maybe like you know whey protein creatine maybe a pre-workout they're very basic supplements you know but they're the essentials but some people don't need them some do but you you consider it at this level and at this level you also become a lot more food conscious which is you you find out oh if i want to put on more muscle i need to eat more protein so you start eating more protein or oh if i want to cut i need to lower my carb intake or my sugar intake so i'll go ahead and undo that so you begin to tweak your diet a little bit so that's pretty much what will happen at this level so these are the two for the green zone now next up is power level five in you're gonna notice this is a gray zone. This is literally the worst place to be. You don't you don't want to be right here at the gray zone. Um, I call this the transition of purgatory or gym purgatory. And anybody that works out seriously most likely has hit this wall. That's why it's a gray wall right there. And this is where most people get stuck and they never get out of it ever. Um, right here is where the newbie games stop and people start to plateau where they're doing the same splits the same consistency but they're not seeing progress they don't they don't know what's going on oh why am i not growing why am i why am i not getting any more cut um and I, or i'll call it the forever cut in bulk where every time you see a person you'll see them from a couple months they're still cutting or they're still bulking or they look the same because they're, they're just not progressing anymore. Um, now, at this level, there's only one way to progress out of this and you have to become more serious about your workout and your diet and your training. Now, a lot of people I know get stuck at this level and I tell them, you have to ask yourself one of three questions, which is one, are you dieting properly? Are you eating the right foods? Are you having too many cheat meals? What is it about your diet that's holding you back? Secondly, are you training consistently? Are you training more days than rest days? You know, are you going to failure? Is your routine good enough for you? And the last thing is consistency. If you're not doing one of those, if you're not doing those things, or all of them you're gonna get stuck here forever that that's all it is and this, this level is the make it or break it for most people um it is the most discouraging level to be in and it's the worst level to be in because you're most people aren't seeing progression 
and they get stuck and then they stop going to the gym and then they end up falling all the way back to level four, three, two, or one. I've seen it time and time again and it, it sucks. It, it really does suck. However, if you do do those things, you take your diets more serious, you're training more serious, you're more consistent, you can move over to the upper echelon, which is gonna be level six. And level six is the advanced level. And now at this level, your diet and routine is pretty consistent with some variance. And what I mean by variance is you might eat good, you know, your four to five days throughout the week, but you'll have a cheat day on your rest day. But because you're more consistent than you are having cheat meals, cheat days, you're still going to see progress. Um, is that to say do it all the time? No, I, I don't tell people have cheat days, have a cheat meal but one is not going to hurt you if you do it one day out the week when you're training five four five days out the week um of course like i stated most of these advanced people have more gym days and rest days yeah, that's going to put you farther along if you have more gym days and rest days that's, that's just common sense um the gains are noticeable whether this person has their clothes off on you're gonna see the gains um that's just how you know that they're progressing you know you're doing well when you can people can see your gains where you have your clothes on that's a good rule of thumb i tell people all the time um and at this level most people start to implement supplements which is your protein your creatine um your pre-workout some people might get some specialty supplements but there will be supplement use at this at this point at this level now level seven power level seven i call it the lucky level the influencer level excuse me so this one's pretty simple these are the people you see online the giant followings they have the nice aesthetic bodies um their diet's consistent their routine's consistent they, they're consistent with everything that they do they figured out things that work for them um also i call this the lucky number seven level because most influencers when you get to this level this is where you, you can begin to make some money which is you know whether that's being a trainer or influencing being a social media celebrity you know fitness brands things like that so this level you can definitely uh make some money in so yeah there's not not too much to say on that level next one you're gonna see this little orange zone right here now the reason for this is this is probably the highest level you can get as a natural person um anything after this you're gonna have to use performance as a drug but we'll get on that this is gonna be level eight the uh competitor level um pretty much your show ready your routine and diet they become a lifestyle you're you're always you're always prepping you're always you know meal prepping you know exactly when you're going to the gym you know exactly the routine everything's down to a t um aesthetically like i said this is the best you can get as a natural and you can win a competition as a natural um yeah that's all there is to say about this level um i will say that this is also probably the peak you can be without having to worry about any kind of weird things happening to your body. Um, and I'll expand more on that as we get to the last two levels. So this red zone right here, this is going to be the top you can be. Um, level nine, you're a master. Now, I have to preface this first and foremost you cannot get to these levels without performance enhancing drug use whether that's trend d-ball any kind of performance enhancing drug you have to use it to get to this level because everybody else in this level are using them there there might be your genetic one in a million person that can get here but that's negligible um so you have to use PEDs to get to this level. Um, 
most of these guys have single digit body fats because they're trying to perform on a national level or are trying to be Mr. Olympias. Most of the time, these guys will train six days a week for one rest day. Diets are pretty much the same, perfect. And you can win competitions. You can win nationals. You can get to Mr. Olympia at this level. And then speaking of Olympia, level 10 is going to be the Olympic level. Um, this is top echelon of bodybuilding. You can be um, the routine and diet is literally perfect. They're always on point. The only time that they have meals that are out of their routine is when on the off season. And even then it's hardly, you know, they, they don't go and have cheat meals that often. Um, these guys will have the lowest body fat percentages. Of course, that's because of PED use. There's, you know, there's no other way to build all that muscle and, and be that lean any other way. Um, of course, I tell everybody genetics, yeah, genetics helps. However, anybody can get from level one to eight through just sheer will, hard work, and consistency. But for nine and ten, you're going to need the genetics too. You, you're going to need to be genetically gifted to be able to build all that muscle. You also are going to perform better if you're taller. Um, there's a lot to consider. So genetics do matter in the red zone. And these are the guys that have won a Mr. and Mrs. Olympia. You know, they've trained with everybody. They know all the little secrets. Um, I will say, speaking of side effects, like I said, for level eight, for level nine and level 10, they're because of PED use, this is not something that's sustainable for long term. Um, you will have your bodybuilders that will get lucky and be okay, like Jay Cutler, you know, he took care of himself, so he's okay. However, you do have a lot of bodybuilders that end up having side effects or that die, you know, um, that that's what it is. Most of these bodybuilders that get to level nine or 10, they end up having to go on hormone replacement therapy, testosterone replacement therapy, something like that down the line, because there's so many side effects and things that they that come with being a professional bodybuilder so what i tell people is if you ever plan to compete at that level that is something to really consider um i tell most people for the long term you thinking long term aim for seven or eight that's pretty sustainable and you still have some variance if you do want to go nine or ten really take your time to think about all the things you have to do um but yeah that should give you guys a better insight on where you're at as far as your bodybuilding where you could be and just some little general tips with each level so i hope that you guys enjoyed the video and now you shouldn't need to be asking me where you're at you should know where you're at for sure with this but um if you like the video just give me a comment like the video subscribe and follow me because i'm going to post more informational videos of course i'll post workout videos things like that because you guys have been asking i'll put up diet videos too because i do get a lot of questions about how i eat um things like that so yeah hope you guys enjoyed coach out